one. Hey, it's Anderson Cooper. Thanks for joining us here live on Facebook. I'm at William and Mary, and as you can tell, I'm uh, on the side of the stage. We're going to be talking to former FBI Director James Comey at the top of the hour, 8 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you join us for that. The uh, the audience is pretty much all here. Really, the, most of the questions, in fact, really all the questions are coming from students and faculty and staff who are in attendance. Uh, we've been asking them to send in their questions. Um, we've got an, a ton of questions, so uh, a lot of them uh, really good stuff. So uh, we're going to be bringing that to you. I'll be asking some follow-on questions to former FBI Director Comey. I'm also taking your questions, uh, so I'm just getting some in here. So what's the energy like in the room? Are people angry or happy? Hmm, I don't see anyone angry, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, yeah, I think people are excited to be here. As I said, I mean, it's, you know, it's really, it's really just the, the, the folks from William, William & Mary, which is where Director Comey went. Uh, he's going to be teaching here uh, in the fall. So I think people are excited. Uh, nobody knows uh, for sure uh, if their question is going to be uh, asked, but um, we've got tons of questions. Uh, everybody came up with their own, their own writing of the question. We haven't, uh, uh, you know, talked to them at all about it. Um, we've... Uh, we've uh, been going over them, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Another question, what do you think are the biggest issues uh, come will be asked this evening? Without a doubt, I mean, you know, one of the largest issues um, that I think Director Comey has been asked about in all the interviews uh, he's had up to now, and also a lot of the questions that we got from students were relating to uh, his uh, actions, obviously, in the weeks and months prior to, uh, t prior to the election. Um, so we got a ton of questions of that. Some uh, clearly are from Hillary Clinton supporters. Some are clearly from uh, President Trump supporters. Um, but uh, we got a lot of questions about that and the way Director Comey saw it at the time, saw his actions at the time and justified his actions at the time and the way he sees them uh, now. Another question, uh, what do you think Comey's next move will be career-wise? It's a good question. You know, I think he's going to be like on this book tour for quite some time, and they're selling a huge amount of books. I think he's also then going to probably go on the, the speaking kind of, you know, there's like speaking lecture circuits. I think he's probably going to go on that. I know he's already booked um, a, couple of, uh, a couple of speeches. And he is going to be teaching here at William & Mary, I'm told, in the fall. Uh, he's been asked a lot if he wants to enter the world of uh, politics, if he would actually run for political office. He said no in the past, although he seemed to indicate maybe his wife wants him to. Uh, so we'll see if a, a question of that uh, gets asked tonight. Um, but, he, you know, he obviously has uh, a lot of options. He also got a huge advance for this book. The book, I think, so far has sold some 600,000 copies. They're printing uh, even more. So um, I think he's going to be kind of on the road uh, talking about this book for quite some time. Another question, what do students uh, make of him? I think, you know, it's really divided. I think um, it's, you know, we've gotten reactions kind of from uh, all, you know, all different points of view. Um, I think, you know, even the students who may, you know, and I think it's something we've seen in a lot of his interactions, Director Comey's interactions since this book has come out. I mean, there's people on the left, there's people on the right who, for, for uh, you know, different reasons, uh, think what he did was inappropriate. There are obviously uh, people who uh, support him, and I think we'll, we'll hear that diversity tonight. Facebook viewers joking, is Comey the tallest person you've ever interviewed? Probably, maybe so. Uh, the tallest non- basketball playing person I've ever interviewed. I, I actually, I don't even think I've interviewed, I haven't interviewed many basketball players. So yeah, I think Comey is 6'8", and um, it's actually been one of the difficulties for tonight just in terms of sort of how the, uh, the staging of this is going to work. Um, uh, I'm five, um, yeah, I'm 5'8", he's 6'8". Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting and, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I have to practice like looking up really, uh, really high. Comey has faced criticism for his book tour. Uh, what do you think has rattled people so much about it? Look, I think it's very rare for a, uh, former director of the FBI, somebody who was director up until, you know, just a, a year or so ago to come out with a book in which he details private conversations he had with the president of the United States. Uh, obviously his, his, um, uh, his actions, uh, prior to the election uh, have been grist for a lot of criticism from people, uh, as I said, from uh, all sides of, of the political aisle. Um, and he's been, uh, not only that, there's the issue of the memos that he wrote uh, after uh, interactions he had with President Trump that raised all sorts of questions. You also have the President of the United States calling him a liar, saying he should be jailed, which is, you know, it may seem normal now, uh, given all the, the, the tweets and stuff we hear from President Trump, but that's an extraordinary thing. You have the sitting president of the United States saying that the former FBI director uh, should be jailed. 
Uh, another question, uh, where do you think Comey is at, at right now in terms of his relationship with the president? I don't think he has a relationship with the president uh, right now, certainly. And um, we actually had a couple questions from, uh, from the audience uh, on this uh, topic tonight. You know, he said uh, varying things over the weeks about what he thinks about the president. Um, and, uh, and, and certainly he's talked a lot about his leadership, which is what the book is about. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what he, uh, sort of where he is at uh, on, you know, he, he's, he's also said he doesn't dislike the president, he's, that it's not a, a personal thing, uh, but that uh, he obviously questions his leadership uh, and, and his judgment in a lot of things. So um, I don't know that they had much of a relationship while he was in office, um, and I certainly don't think he has much of a relationship uh, right now. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all, all the time we have. Uh, so thanks so much for joining us on Facebook Live, and I hope you join us at, uh, oh, actually, wait, do you think Comey has more to say publicly about President Trump? We'll see tonight. You know, it's interesting. He's, uh, he's only done one interview that I know about in front of an audience. He did it with David Remnick from The New Yorker uh, the other day. And it's a very different dynamic when you actually have an audience. And uh, it was interesting to read the transcript of that because his answers were kind of longer and there's much more interaction with the audience. So I think tonight is going to be kind of uh, very different than what we've seen in some sit down and interviews. He's tended to have very short answers. Um, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how he is with this audience, how he engages with them. Uh, you know, it's a very different thing uh, when you have a reporter asking questions than when you have students standing up uh, asking questions directly. So, all right, that's all the time we have. Thanks very much for joining us. I'll see you at 8.